my sticky bra is literally falling off as we speak. We should probably fix that. Okay, we're good now. In today's video, you guys, I'm going to be helping you guys start off 2019 right. This has everything to do with your mindset, fitness goals, food, and so much more. And this video will be in partnership with Lysum. Lysum is an app I've used for a very long time, so I can't wait to share with you guys how to use this app and all the benefits of it. I personally love doing videos like this to help you guys out, just to get you guys you know, on the right track with your goals and food and fitness and everything like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, that is Janine Amapola, and let's just get right into this video. My first tip for starting the year off right is just decluttering and getting organized. I feel like there's nothing better than just starting fresh and just decluttering, getting out with the old, out with the toxic, out with the fake people, out with the haters, and in with the new clean freshness. So basically what I encourage you guys to do is just declutter your closet, donate items, go through things that you just don't need. If you have not thought about it, if you have not missed it, if you have not used it in the last three months, six months, couple weeks just donate it you can donate it to goodwill women's shelters salvation army your friends repurpose it find ways to repurpose an item and it is the best way just to start off on the right foot in the new year my second advice is just mindset and your goals so what are your goals this year so in 2018 i started a list of 18 goals i wanted to do so this year i will be doing 19 goals that i want to do but make sure they're realistic, obtainable, and things that you really are passionate about and things that you really can just see yourself actually achieving. Make sure you're going into the new year with a positive mindset, giving yourself the pep talk of I can do these things, having faith in yourself, believing in yourself, actually just pushing yourself to do these things. Have people hold you accountable for your goals. In each quarter, you're going to be setting three goals that you actually think you can obtain. So I set my quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four goals, and in each one set at least three goals that you think you can obviously obtain. You can have more goals if you want, but in each quarter just break it up to three goals that are maybe big and you think, I can do this. The next thing I want you guys to do is do this list right here. This is your future self list and who you wanna be when you're 30 years old, 35 years old, 25 years old. Basically who you wanna be in the next 10 years and what steps you're taking to get there. So this has a bunch of different questions like visualize your home, where is it, what does the decor look like, how does it feel? It's really cool because you actually can visualize and picture yourself there and what you want your dream future to look like. I'm gonna have this list down below for you guys so you can do this yourself. I did this and it was the most beneficial thing for me. I love looking back at it and being like, okay, what steps am I making today to achieve these goals in the future? So this list is honestly incredible. I hope you guys will try it out, it's pretty awesome and I'll have it listed down below for you guys. Okay, so let's talk health and fitness. Now this is the time of the year where everyone starts to go to the gym and they're like, time to be active and time to lose some weight or whatever it may be. This is the time where all of a sudden the gyms start filling up. That was me two years ago, I'm not even gonna lie, that was me two years ago and it actually stuck. I'm actually really proud of myself to say that I have been consistently working out and going to the gym since 2017. The app Lifesome I've used this whole past year and it has been honestly amazing in my fitness journey. Lifesome is a nutrition focused app that helps you track your health by tracking your water intake, your workouts. It also gives you personalized healthy eating plans such as clean eating or ketogenic. And it can also give you a bunch of recipes which you guys will see. I'm taking a stir fry recipe from the app and it is so delicious. And it's really, really easy to check your macros on there. That's mainly what I use the app for. You guys can just literally take a picture with the barcode. This is my favorite feature. It's so easy. Take a picture of the barcode and it instantly imports the data into your app. I have the premium version so I get full access to all the recipes. I encourage you guys to do the same because there's so many amazing recipes on there. And I really do encourage you guys to try to learn to cook more and eat at home more because that's really the best way to stay on track and also save money. That's something we should all be doing this next year is saving some money and eating healthier. So I encourage you guys to download the app down below. This will really help you guys stay on track with your fitness goals. Furthermore, into fitness goals, I hope you guys discover really this year what you enjoy. I hope you find a workout plan that you really, really like, that you find workout classes you enjoy, whether it's soul cycle or boxing or whatever it may be, I really hope you guys find something you love and stick with it. Fuel yourself with natural, healthy things. Which leads me to my next point of just food overall and health and finding healthier options. So just like, you know, organizing your room and your closet and going out with the old and with the new, same thing with food. I hope you guys 
will go to the pantry and just toss whatever is not benefiting your body, is not making you feel good, is not leading you in the right directions of your fitness goals. So I'm not gonna lie, I have some chocolate in my pantry that is really not the healthiest for me. So I really just need to just toss it. So that's what I recommend you guys to do, just toss it. When you're shopping for groceries, I hope you guys will go towards more fruits and veggies and just more healthy natural things. And you look at the labels and you'll actually understand what the labels are saying. You try to do less sugar and just better ingredients. When you're also buying certain drinks or when you're out, I hope you guys will try to reduce sugar intake and things that are processed and things that are just not good for you. So for example, when I made my Starbucks order, I tried to reduce the amount of sugar that was in there by, by taking off the foam and taking off the whip. Small little things like that that you guys can do every single day that will lead you closer to your fitness goals. Back to getting organized, you guys. Just try to get a planner or some sort of way you're really storing your files and just really getting organized in your place. I feel like when you have a messy room and a messy just place and environment, you really can't think straight. So buy a planner, get organized, make sure you're always tracking every single day what you gotta, what you gotta do. So really just organizing your room and your life and your space and everything can really help you just be more on track and organized in your mind. At least that's how it is for me. One of the things that I think you should implement in the next year is just reading more and just really filling your mind with really beneficial things more books and more podcasts. When you're driving, that is the most perfect time to put on a podcast and really just expand your mind and your thinking. I love listening to podcasts that really just develop my mind and challenge me. And also just putting on Audible books. I love using Audible and just listening to books like the books I'm showing you guys on the screen. So definitely try to find a book that really just speaks to you, whether it's business or self-help, about relationships. There's so many different options out there for you guys because they really can just challenge you and grow your mind so much. My next tip is go into this year volunteering and just thinking of ways you can serve people. Whether that's baking someone cookies or even actually legit looking for volunteer opportunities. Serving at your church, that's what I do. I love serving at my church on Sundays. Finding ways you can be selfless and really putting others before you I think is a really beneficial thing and it really, really grows you. So it can be something as small as writing someone a letter and bringing them cookies or going out of your way to do something for somebody. Just finding ways to put people in front of you and just volunteering are gonna be ways that are just really gonna grow you and make you less selfish and really just gonna shape you into a better person in my opinion. And I think my last tip is just less social media. This is really, really hard to actually do. I know it really, really is, especially when all of our lives are so consumed on it. My whole job is social media. But I think the less that we can be spending on it and just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling and comparing ourselves, the happier we're gonna be. I know it's really tempting just to lie there and be on your phone and scroll and you get your mind really wrapped up in it and then all of a sudden you're like, whoa, an hour has passed by. But I really encourage you guys just to limit your time on social media and be with the people around you and don't be on your phones. Obviously enjoy social media, enjoy what you're posting, enjoy what you're doing, but really at the end of the day, just, rem just remember you want to live in the moment and you really want to be present with the people you're around. In five years, you're not going to remember you scrolling on social media. You're going to remember the times and the memories you made with your friends. I hope you guys will implement all these ideas into the next year and will really just go hard this next year and all your dreams will come true and you'll really work hard and you'll give everything you have to the best of your ability. Again, thank you so much to Lifesome for partnering with me on this video. I hope you guys will try out the app. I really, really do love this app. It'll help you guys get on your fitness journey and just really help you track your macros and provide you with so many different recipes. So hopefully you guys will download it once more. It'll be linked down below for you guys. Another thing is I will be uploading back on my vlog channel again. I will no longer be uploading on this main channel. I love you guys. Thank you so much for an incredible 2018. I am so excited to see what 2019 has for all of us. I really, really am. I think it's gonna be an incredible big year. So hopefully it is everything you guys ever dreamed of. So I will see you guys in the next year. I love you guys with all my heart and peace out Girl Scout. Bye guys.